up guys, welcome back to the even GL. One, two, three, four. Woo! Sounds good to say that again, all right? I know I've been gone for a while. That's mostly my fault. Um, last time you guys saw me was WrestleMania weekend where I went to WrestleMania 35. And yeah, so far I've been doing myself. Um, I kind of moved. I'm not in Connecticut anymore. I'm actually in Florida. So that took some time out of my schedule from recording. Also, I got a job at one point. I quit. Um, I've been training still Team 3D Academy, but I'm training at the one over here in Florida. So I'm constantly training Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So that takes time out of my schedule. I actually just got a new job as of yesterday and I start sometime this week. So that's gonna take some time out of my schedule right now. So far today is the only day I have to record. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what I've been doing and what I think about current situations that are happening. So let's get into it. So like I said, I did move down here in Florida. Um, I just couldn't take Connecticut anymore. Connecticut was getting a little too boring for me. Also, I, I just always really liked the thought of living in Florida. That was going to be my original plan. If you guys follow TKO Kosenko or know him, our original plan was to move down here to start our wrestling training back when we found out about the school. But then we just started training at the one in Connecticut because we saw that that same exact academy we was over there. So we went there. I started training there for six, seven months. Moved down here, I transferred to the one that's over here. And so far, I've been getting a lot more training in than I was over there. I'm training more days, more hours. And there's a lot of opportunities coming my way. I'm not gonna say what specifically, cause I don't wanna jinx my chances of getting those opportunities. I got a job here within two weeks of me living here, um, working at Auntie Anne's Pretzel Place. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Um, I'm not going to talk bad about the company, but I will talk bad about the boss. I'm not going to say the boss's name, but the boss of my store wouldn't allow me to have Thanksgiving off or Christmas. And I don't know how many of you know, but my mother did pass last year. So I was going to take the day of her birthday off to celebrate with my sister. She wouldn't give me that day off either. Her quotes, I really don't care. Everyone has to work. Doesn't make sense because there's like 15 other people that work at that store. Why do they need me? So big whole situation blew out. Not going to get into it, but I quit. After me quitting, I got a new job within three weeks. Like I said, I start sometime this week. I'm going to be working at Wendy's. I know. I, I just keep working in fast food. Um, I a job is a job. So wherever I work at, as long as I'm making money, psh, I'm gonna take it. Training down here, awesome. Um, where I'm training, like I said, Team 3D Academy. Um, we did move locations because it used to be in Kissimmee, Florida. But within like a month or two of me being down here, um, we did switch locations to Winter Park. Winter Park or Winter Garden? What? Winter Park. Winter Park, Florida. Bubba is the one that trains all the students down in Connecticut. Devon is the one that trains all the students here in Florida. Um, I'm not going to get into any conversations I've had with Devon or my experiences. All you guys need to know is that he's a really cool dude. And if you are in the Florida area and you really want to pursue your career in wrestling, professional wrestling, and go to any major promotion and get started in your career, come down to Team 3D Academy. We're located at 2720 Fourth Side Road, Winter Park, Florida. Took, took me a minute, but, but I remember. Overall, training here is awesome. The other trainer who helps trains with students here, um, not gonna say his name, but he does go by Serpentico on the Indies. If you guys don't know him, look him up. Amazing dude, amazing wrestler. He's just awesome at what he does. He's helped me a lot. I've picked up 
a lot of things quick because of him. So this really is the school for me. This is the school for anybody. I don't think there's any other school out there like it because it's always one-on-one, -on -one, hands on hand training that we do over here. So like I said, if you really are looking forward to pursuing your career in professional wrestling, come down to Team 3D Academy. A situation I ran into with coming down over here was I had a car, didn't have a license, didn't have a permit. So anyways, I still wasn't able to drive, but I did buy a car when I was down in Connecticut. It was a Jeep, a 2008 Jeep Patriot. Um, I shipped it down here to Florida. I got it registered and everything. I was trying to have it registered under my sister's name so this way she could drive it. And then once I get my license and all that shit, I was able to take the car back and, and use it. She already has her car, so, but I wanted to be able to drive my car. So I got it registered in her name. We got it legit to be on the road. One day she was gonna go bring me to training. We got two minutes up the road. All the lights, all the sensors came on the dashboard. Not safe to drive. We brought that shit to an auto repair shop. They took a look at the bottom. When I tell you guys, I have never seen some shit like this. The whole bottom of my car was rusted. So rusted that all the sensors at the bottom of the car rusted out and broke off. So they couldn't exactly tell what was wrong except that the whole bottom of the car was rusted and it was not safe to drive. And if I got into an accident, I'm done. I was done. So yeah, basically when I got that car in Connecticut, it was sitting there for a long period of time. I was able to like drive it up the road and around the block a few times just so that shit like that didn't happen and so that there wasn't any malfunctions with the car. But you know, it being in the snow and in the rain and in the heat and in the cold all the time in Connecticut. I guess that shit had to do with all the rusting at the bottom of the car. So basically when I got it down here, I did have to fucking bring it to a junkyard. Only got $500 out of that car. Yeah, and the car was 4,500. Not a good experience. Um, I was pissed but hopefully I get my license soon and I get enough money for my new job at Wendy's to be able to buy a new car. Also, I met a lot of new cool people down here in Florida, mostly because of my training. I got a lot of new friends down here that I made. Um, I'm gonna shout them out real quick. CEO, Blanco, Kyle, Rasta, Rainier, AKA Ricky, just, just a few of the people, but those are like my main people right now. I fucks with them heavy. They're cool as shit. Um, one day, I hope we all throw a family barbecue because that, that's my Team 3D family. And then also my Team 3D family in Connecticut. I'm not going to forget about those boys. You got Dennis. You got Chris. You got Gio. You got TKO. You got Randy. You got D'Lo. Got everybody down there. Another thing that has happened to me since I've been down here, a couple weeks ago, I kind of messed up my shoulder in the ring, not gonna lie, but it started getting a little bit better when I was working at Auntie Anne's. I was moving boxes around, lifting shit. So like my shoulder was healing. As I was biking home one day from Auntie Anne's, it was like 11.30 at night, mind you. But I have a flashlight on my head. One of those LED lights that strap onto your head. I had one of those. And I even got the reflection shits on the side of my bike. I'm three minutes up the road. Got hit by a car. Hit my shoulder. My shoulder is still a little bit fucked up. I wasn't feeling the pain then because of all the adrenaline, so I didn't think much of it. The lady did get out of her car immediately. She picked me up off the floor, hugged me, was saying sorry. She wasn't paying attention. She had her kid in the back. She looked back for one second, looked back, I was there. She didn't have enough time to stop. It's not an excuse, because you should always 
always have your eyes on the road, especially at night because you never know who's on the road or who's gonna be in front of you. But I let her go. I didn't press any charges. I didn't call the cops, no nothing. I didn't go to the hospital. I probably should have though, just so that they can make sure my shoulder was okay and nothing's broken. But I got back to the house. Two hours go by, I'm starting to feel pain in my shoulder. I've been putting Icy Hot on it. I've been putting cold packs, heat compresses on it. And it started getting a little bit better. Last week in training, I gave a high cross body. And when you give a high cross body, you wanna land on your forearms and your knees. I landed on my forearms, but I, I felt the shock of all the energy go up to my shoulder. I rolled out the ring immediately. So my shoulder is a little bit fucked up again, but I'll be better and ready to go this week for training. So you guys don't even gotta worry about that, but it still is a little bit fucked up, not gonna lie. But I'm all good. I'm all good. I take it like a champ. See, I, I hit myself. It's all, it's all good. But other than that, guys, I've done a lot so far since I've been here in Florida. But now let's talk about some current situations that are happening regarding WWE. I don't want to talk bad about the WWE because I want to eventually work for them one day. And I don't know if they're ever going to look back at my old videos and see all the shit that I've talked. Because I will admit, I've talked shit a lot about the WWE, even though I've always loved it. So I don't want to continue that. But I will just say some things that I'm confused about and that I'm excited for. Number one thing just happened. Friday Night Smackdown. Bray Wyatt is the new Universal Champion, right? Universal Champion is red, right? Well, not anymore, because it's on SmackDown. So, one particular person in the boardroom was like, ah, we gotta make it blue, because it, it's on SmackDown. It can't be red, because Raw and SmackDown are their own brands, and it wouldn't make sense. Ah. So, the strap is blue. I don't really know how that's gonna look on Bray Wyatt, especially with him being the fiend, because you know, he wears red and black, and this belt is bright ass blue. When I tell you bright ass blue, like, look at the sky, that's the fucking blue it is. I don't think it looks good, but I'm not gonna talk shit about it. Maybe it will grow on me one day, just like the red strap did. Another thing, a good thing this time, that happened recently this week. Somebody broke the internet, broke the world, might I add. CM Punk finally came back home, but he's not wrestling. He's on WWE backstage with Renee Young and Booker T and anybody else who guest appears on the show. There are a lot of rumors going around that he might have a match soon. Don't know how soon, but hopefully very soon. Because who I would love to see him face right now, even though I don't like him, Seth Rollins, another person, Adam Cole, also AJ Styles. Those matches would fucking blow the roof off the place, no doubt about it. But other than that, Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe down below. Click that like button. If you have something to comment, comment down below and press that post notification bell button. So whenever I upload a new video, you're the first one to know about it and be able to watch it immediately. And again, thank you guys for watching. And I don't know when the next video will be, but I will see you guys in the next one.